I'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb and predict this, that this Colin Kaepernick thing is gonna work against the NFL. Um, I just heard on a Sears satellite radio, uh, what, what is it, Fox Headline News, that uh, they already got a major protest set up for August 23rd in front of NFL headquarters. And um, it's gonna divide. It's dividing the country even more so because, I mean, what gets me more than anything else is, is this, I said it last bit, I'm gonna say it again. You got people out here that was an accessory to a murderer and could have probably possibly done the crime himself. They got to play 15 seasons in the NFL. You got another person that went to jail for dogs, fighting dogs and stuff, got out and, and, and still got a second chance. And you got another person that turns around and gets bought up on gun charges in New York. And he comes back and plays football. You got people beating their wives on domestic violence. And then they get a chance. More chances. And people beating up their girlfriends. They getting chances. And I'm not saying that domestic violence is the answer because domestic violence is stupid. But a man can sit down on one knee and peacefully protest and it causes this kind of outrage. I'm telling you. Man, he has struck a nerve, a true nerve that is in this country. You know, black people are the only people in the world that can have everything under the damn sun done to them. But let's just forget it and let's move on. Oh, but when the Jews, ah, so-called Jews, oh, remember the Holocaust. Remember every damn body else in their flight but the black folks that went in slavery that were enslaved against their will. Then we supposed to just forget it, let God bygones be bygones, move from the past, and all, and hell no. It lets me know exactly who I'm dealing with, people who have that attitude. But why is it that we the only ones got to move from the past and everybody else get to stay in it? Isn't that crazy? I tell you, I'm with Colin Kaepernick on this. 100% I am. Them 65 to 70% black NFL players, you want to fake change like they did in NBA? Protest for five years. Any of y'all coming out of college, don't play. Let's see what type of ratings the NFL get then when you get all these sorry scrubs on the field. I predict this thing is going south for the NFL.